for the record, this video is not scripted, so if I get off topic, I'm going to try my best to edit it out. Anyways, guys, so this video is obviously going to be about what I think Halo 5's issue was, but strictly story and how everything went down because people think how can such a disaster come the way it did in Halo 5s like the marketing campaign had nothing to do with the game it seems like and I've been watching a lot of videos about what happened and what people think happened and that's really why I'm making this video considering it's 12:44 <laughs> in the morning and I'm just stranded here awake watching these videos which is again why I'm making this but it, it got me thinking and obviously I consider myself a freelance filmmaker so I've made short films before and to an extent I my first project while this isn't 343's ended up somewhat like this and I had this grand idea for it just like 343 had their idea that it was a chief versus lock dynamic and when it finally came down to the latter I was not nearly as edited, like, the video wasn't nearly as edited as it needed to be, and I was literally editing up to the dime, which I feel like was what happened with Halo 5. And I'll, um, <laughs> I'll actually give you guys the link down in the description to this short film I made, which is, <laughs> I, it's okay, I mean, it's not my, it's not my best work, definitely, and like I said, it ended up like Halo 5 and there was a lot to be desired, everyone that was involved in it, everyone that acted, myself, the director included, I mean, I just didn't like it, but the idea, I still like. Like, if I could go back and do things differently, I still think that that story would have been good. And that's where I think Halo 5 is. I hate to say this because I diss Halo Follower so much just for some things that happened in the past with me and them, but Halo Follower had a very good video a, w a while back, and it was about Halo 5 and what it it did in terms of setting things up. While I'm not going to have you guys go watch it just because I don't believe in that anymore, but I do think that Halo 5 set up for a very good story for Halo 6. There are a lot of things that while it didn't do what I think 343 hoped it would, did set the stage for an epic conclusion to this saga. So, while some people may say that it's a failure, which to be totally honest, I feel like it is too, it almost didn't fail as badly as it could have. There were things that could be salvaged, and I mean, obviously from a gaming perspective, like a development studio trying to go into a sequel, they have to take these. This hole that they've dug themselves into, I mean, they have to take everything that they can get. And luckily, Halo 5 has a many a plot points that they could grab, including things that were from previous games that they didn't use in Halo 5. I'm not going to go into those in this video as those are usually longer videos that I'll make about some theories for Halo 6. Hopefully we'll get some Halo 6 info here soon. But anyways, getting back to the point at hand, go watch my video that I linked you up with down below. And actually, I'll put it on screen so you guys can watch. And then come back and comment down what you think about it before you watch the rest of this video. And you'll understand why after you watch it and come back. Arthur Lagenshire, Case 231, Recording Number 25. For the sake of anyone listening, I'll tell you what happened. Two years ago, my girlfriend, Avery Cooper, went missing. I searched for her day in and out for well over a year, but everything I found pointed to the same thing. My Avery was gone, and she was never coming back. But then one day, I saw her. I, I thought it couldn't be. I was walking home from work when suddenly there she was in front of me. And yet she wasn't. Boy. There was a bank robbery that day. What? She was right there in the middle of it, leading the criminals. Get in the car! But that wasn't the Avery I knew. She still had a bracelet I'd given to her on her last birthday. Someone or something had gotten to her and I had to figure out what it was. Come on, what are you doing? Let's go. I noticed the tattoo on all of the thug's hands. A card. The Nine of Diamonds, to be precise. I assumed this was associated with the Black Diamond Gang. My partner and I had looked into the leader, Maconia, back when I was a police detective. Maconia had gotten this title due to his tendency to go looking for trouble, narrowly avoiding death, seemingly having nine lives. Not good company to keep. Since the robbery, 
I've been looking into all my old files on the gang and their leader. All of my leads so far have gone cold. The last chance I had was a kid that I tipped off for information during the Maconia case. He had ties with the gang back then, so he should have the information I need. I'll finally be able to bring my Avery home. I... I just need to get him to talk. Shirley Wright. Nobody calls me that, man. It's dip. Alright. Well, tell me what you know about Avery Cooper, dip. I don't know a Cooper. I'm gonna ask you one more time. What do you know about an Avery Cooper? I mean, I might have seen something if you had some green to refresh my memory. Ah, my head! This is not like our last meet. In case you haven't noticed, there's no cops here to protect you. Alright, alright, jeez. Jeez. She was downtown, south side, with, with some guy. Fine, then. Get out. That was the closest thing I had gotten to a solid lead in a long time. But I knew she was in with the gang. I just didn't know why or how. I had a plan to find these answers. But for this next part, I'd need some help from an old friend. Wait, she's alive? Are you sure? I mean, she's been gone a long time. Like, maybe- I'm positive, Bruno. Jeez. I mean, I don't think the chief is gonna see it from your perspective. I mean, she helped with a bank robbery. That wasn't my Avery. Look, man, maybe I could- <sighs> Crap. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where the closest restaurant is? I'm dying for a bite to eat. There's a, uh... A nice Italian restaurant, you go down the block, right on the corner. All right. Thanks. Watch out. Avery? Is that... Is that you? Aw, your little boyfriend's awake. Who are you? Oh, you poor thing. You really don't know anything, do you? What? What are you talking about? Oh, my sweet, sweet detective. I am Maconia. What? Why are you holding Avery hostage? She, she hasn't done anything. Oh, but on the contrary, your girlfriend took out quite a hefty loan and couldn't pay it back. She's been a great addition to the gang. She's smart, thinks for herself, and doesn't let anybody stand in her way. You won't get away with this. Oh, detective, don't you know? Anything can happen if you let it. And if I won't let it happen? You think I'm joking here? Why am I not gonna smile on that face? No! Hurry up, get him out of here. Alrighty, so now that you've watched what is my uh, grand masterpiece, I, I mean, like I said, please keep in mind that that was my first ever short film. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you could tell, but there was a bigger story there that I would have rather been told than what was actually told. So, shooting that, we were up to the dime, okay? We literally, that warehouse that we shot in, we were getting in trouble for yelling in the warehouse, so literally as soon as we shot what I thought we could get away with, we ran out of there, and I had to go apologize later for doing that. So that was literally shot until we couldn't anymore, because everywhere else we tried to shoot just wouldn't work. 
and then editing. I had to split editing between me and a couple of my other friends that helped out with this and even then we were editing past time so obviously I think that this could have been much better and I feel like this is what happened with Halo 5. Story-wise it was set and the story, I'll share the script with you for this too, was much different than what you actually saw. So if you read the script and then you watch this short film, you'll see that there are a lot of things that were supposed to be conveyed that just weren't. And that's what happened with Halo 5. Am I excusing Halo 5? No. Am I excusing myself for this? No. I'm saying that things happen. Just like Halo 4 failed in its multiplayer, I think that Halo 5 failed in its campaign. So, going into Halo 6, luckily, like I said earlier, there are nuggets of this and Halo 4 that they can take and make into something better. But, my entire point of this video is that if it weren't for this, if it weren't for my failed first attempt at a short film like you just watched, there wouldn't be later videos or later games that are just good. Halo 2 was an experience for Bungie. The same thing that I'm telling you now, being pushed to the dime to edit and being pushed until the last moment to shoot, basically happened in Halo 2. That's why the cliffhanger was so bad, and I think that people forget how much Halo 2 was ridiculed for its lackluster campaign and how it was just cut off short. But the same thing happened in Halo 5 compared to Halo 2. If it weren't for this, if it weren't for my short film that failed that you just watched, it I wouldn't have got where I am now. And I'm being paid to edit videos and to go shoot things now because of what I did years ago like this. So what I'm saying is, yes, Halo 5 may be a colossal failure in some people's eyes, but don't forget that people can turn things around quickly if they try hard enough. Should you give 343 another chance? I think so. Now that being said, I do think that Halo 6 will make or break the Halo franchise, for better or for worse. So, to that I say, 343, I've got your back. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt here, just because I've been put in the same situation. And, obviously, this is just my personal opinion, so anyone that doesn't agree with me is fine. I mean, you can comment down below any thoughts that you have, but... Like I said, this is just from me, and this is really a video to all of you at 343, and like, I'm saying that I understand where you're at. I think that you guys can do it. You just need to stick with the community like you have been, you just need to keep doing what you're doing, and don't let anyone tell you that what you're doing is wrong. Obviously you need to take constructive criticism, but to an extent, do you. Everyone thinks that you should go back to the old Bungie days of Halo, but that's not true. Bungie? Coming back to Halo would be the worst thing that could happen. Bungie is not Bungie anymore. They don't have the people that started Bungie. The people that originally had that plan to create games for gamers. So 343 needs to not go back to the Bungie days, but make a new era of Halo. They need to have a new Golden Age, created by 343. You have to take your downfalls and put them into your future endeavors. You have to bring that knowledge and put them on the table when you do something new. So guys, that's just my thoughts. I know this was a bit rambled and obviously this isn't the usual type of video, but I was just, like I said, it's literally seven minutes till one o'clock in the morning and I'm wide awake, but <laughs> this wasn't scripted. So this, these were just literally my raw thoughts. I think I'm gonna send this to you guys over at 343 just to let you guys know that I have your backs and I do understand where you're at. But I'm looking forward to Halo 6, I just hope you all know. And I've been playing a lot of Halo 5 lately. If you're interested in playing, hit me up, DanielM47. Um, I'll drop my gamer tag down below as I always do. But anyways guys, I just thought that this video needed to be made. I'm gonna be making another video on a pretty a kind of a rant about um, Battle Royale and Halo <laughs> due to some uh, recent topics that have been poking around and everything because I'm pretty sick and tired of it. But anyways, that's for another video. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to slap that like button down below and comment any thoughts you do have on the future of Halo and Halo 5 in general in the comment section below. But guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed, like I said before, I'll see you all in the next video, guys.